from skyscrapers to golf courses, Donald Trump has built a business empire like no other US president. More than 500 companies spanning the globe, but they're now fueling concerns about how President Trump can separate business from the Oval Office. Just two weeks before the election, Donald Trump opened his latest luxury hotel, just a few minutes walk from the White House here in downtown Washington. He won a contract from the US government to lease the old post office and clock tower building for the next 60 years. And for some, that now makes him both landlord and tenant. Trump isn't the first president to face conflicts of interest. But where even Republican predecessors, such as George W. Bush and Ronald Reagan, divested their businesses completely, Trump will hand over his to his children. I don't know if it's a blind trust if Ivanka, Don and Eric run it, but is that a blind trust? I don't know. A blind trust is typically run by an independent trustee. Trump's organization told CCTV transferring control would comply with all rules and regulations. But that arrangement has been challenged after Ivanka Trump attended her father's first meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. This is something that if you saw this kind of arrangement discussed in any other country, particularly Africa or other parts of the world, where you were going to say we have a president and then his family is running the business, we would consider that one of the features of a banana republic. There's no legal obligation for Trump to put his businesses into blind trusts. But critics say it's crucial for his overseas interests in volatile places like Turkey. Trump opened a complex there four years ago. Making foreign policy is almost solely within the power of the president. Uh, so he has a wide-ranging portfolio when it comes to foreign policy. If there's going to be a decision made about something that's affecting a foreign country, that's where the conflicts potentially arise that are most troubling. As the ethical debate keeps making headlines, Trump continues to develop his portfolio, with a new hotel brand launched shortly before the election. Owen Fairclough, CCTV, Washington.